The new graphics engine gives a boost to working on 3D models. It utilises the features of the graphics card much more efficiently within calculations. We summarised already the benefits of the new graphics engine, but in this presentation using a steel framed building we'll explore the impact of the new graphics engine and what it will have on how the graphics and settings have changed. I will first show the rotation of the model in a steel framed house. The size of the model is about 235 megabytes. The first is the 2020 version and then the new 2021 version. In the old version rotation, zooming and moving is laggy and in the new version the model rotates smoothly and the response is immediate. There are no more delays. Another example is the selection of wind braces. As a result of the graphics engine acceleration of selections and other developments, the new version is much faster in terms of selections. Set the selection filter to select only certain types of wind braces. First, select the individual parts. There is a delay in the 2020 version, whereas in the new version, there is no delay. Then select all the parts suitable for filtering by selecting all with the shortcut Control plus A. Let's do it first with the version 2020 and then with the brand new version 2021. There is a big difference here. The selection in the old version takes about 50 seconds. The video has been trimmed here. Now we look at the same with the new version. The selection is described as uncut, parts become selected instantly. In addition, I tested the selection of all parts in the frame model. That was about a tenth of the time spent with the previous version. Within this same example building, I also tested the transitions between the model and between the drawing in the model. The transition from one model to another was clearly faster than before, less than half the time of the previous version. The new version is now much smoother to use thanks to the graphics engine and also other developments. The difference is especially noticeable with large models all of these improvements and are streamlining your design work. The graphics settings have changed somewhat also, which are as follows. The transparency of the selected part works as in the previous version. You can use the slider to set the degree of transparency. Edge softening mainly adjusts the drawing of sharp edges. The intensity of shadows adjusts the darkness of the shadows. Drawing density of an arc affects the drawing of circles and arcs in the model. With this setting, large sheets of steel frame models can affect model performance. Profile machining is often shown as a line drawing. The model can have a lot of circles or arcs. The result of the machining is now not affected by the setting. The following settings affect the visibility of the point cloud as it rotates. The user can adjust the settings to draw edge lines and textures. When clipping a model, the cutting surface can either be left open or a surface can be drawn on it. By default, the surface is drawn. It can also be turned off. Drawing the reference geometry in grayscale is related to modifying the model with the G4. You can adjust the colour of the model and the 2D image as usual. You can adjust the colour of the model and 2D image as usual. By this we mean the background colour of it. The colour of the sketch only affects the G4 modeler when processing models. The environment image can also be selected in the visual selection bar. With this setting it always appears as the background for the template. 
You can also adjust the border color in iron wire mode from the settings.